here with Lamar men's basketball head coach, Tick Price. Coach, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me, Manny. The Cardinals were the last team to win a game in the 2019-2020 season for the Southland Conference. Here we are, eight months later, getting ready to start a new season. What are you and your team most looking forward to? Well, you know, I never thought when we ended the year, we would still be in uh, COVID-conscious mode. Uh, But we were playing well. And uh, I got a call from our our athletic director, Marco Bowen, saying that uh, the uh, tournament had been suspended. Obviously, for our seniors, it was a very disappointing uh, thing to hear because, obviously, we were playing well and they – they've – they just want to have one more crack of the championship. I'm sure other teams as well. Uh, but uh, hopefully the guys return will understand uh, the urgency uh, that comes with this season. But there are a lot of distractions that has come so far. The planning has been disrupted. The preparation has been uh, disrupted as well. Uh, and it has taken a collaborative effort from my administration uh, our coach and staff, our players, uh, all of us to, to try to get back focused again. And that has not been an easy task at all. So this COVID deal uh, has made basketball second nature when it comes to all the things that we've been hit by. You mentioned those graduating seniors, two of them being V.J. Holmes and T.J. Atwood, two big contributors last year on offense. But you actually have three starters returning from last year's Cardinals team. How have they stepped up in preparation for this upcoming season? Oh, my God. Avery Sullivan has been tremendous uh, with his uh, his whole approach. He leads by example. Uh, he's well-respected among his teammates. Off the court, he's no problem at all. He makes the dean's list. He's the epitome of what a student athlete should be about. Uh, and Davion Buster uh, had a uh, just an amazing year uh, shooting the basketball. He was one of the better three-point shooters in our conference, and he's playing right now with a lot of confidence. Uh, so we, those two gives us a one-two punch inside-out uh, type uh, approach. And, uh, of course, you know, when you have players like that uh, returning, uh, that, that really helps. But then we, David Muaka was a part-time starter for us, a shot blocker. Uh, he, he, we call him a human eraser. He kind of helps clean up everything that comes in the paint. He takes pride in that. And uh, then Anderson Kopp as well, he started some. He's a prolific three-point shooter, stretches the defense. Uh, another guy makes the president's list uh, every semester. And he's just as good a person as he is a a basketball player. So we've got uh, a good nucleus of players returning that I'm very proud of. Not including those nucleus of players. You have a handful of new new faces who we have coming into the program, some transfers, a couple freshmen. Are there a couple individuals who have really stood out early on in this preseason preparation? You know, the uh, newcomers have brought some toughness that probably we lacked a little bit a year ago. Uh, we got a freshman coming in, Casey Harrison, a local player from Beaumont, uh, probably one of the best point guards in the state a year ago. Uh, we got him early. We were very fortunate that he wanted to stay home. Uh, so having him come, he gives us a true playmaker, uh, give us a guy who can guard on the perimeter, uh, Quinlan Bennett out of Chicago, uh, so two guard can play some three. Uh, we named him an old school gangster. He just guard people in the ground. And I just love his toughness. Uh, Lincoln Smith out of uh, Georgia is also just an excellent rebound from the wing. He's a guy that can get running rebounds, but don't mind guarding you and doing all the blue collar stuff for you. Uh, Tyreek uh, Ison is also a good player out of Canada. He plays the power or stretch four. So we've got those four guys who have brought something that we didn't have a year ago, and that's uh, four guys that gives us that competitive spirit. And then lastly, with a couple weeks left still before we tip off, what do you need to see out of your players in order to get where you need to be for this season? I think with us uh, being consistent in our effort, 
uh, it's going to take a collective effort for us, um, the epitome of what teams should be about. Uh, again, discipline um, is going to play a big key for every team, but that's something that I preach day in and day out to make sure that the discipline uh, comes to, uh, to a point where um, you are willing to sacrifice and prioritize what's most important. Uh, right now, our biggest competition is anyone willing to work harder than us. Uh, and so we cannot allow that to happen if uh, if we plan to get to the winner's circle. 